Welcome to the Shit That They Do Not Tell You podcast. My name is Steve Green. I'm joined here today by my lovely co-host, Nikki Limo. Hi, I'm Nikki Green. Limo, Green. And today we're joined by two very special guests. They are also Greens. It's an all-green episode. An all-green episode. We're joined by Help my brother, me. Kenny Green, and everyone already knows Nate Green. Help, help, help me, help me. What's so up, this guys? is what it's like on this side of the mic. Now it's right. like yeah. there's three Steves. Nate has been here for every <laughs> single episode of Shit They Don't Tell You. Yeah. He's been behind the and scenes yet, on every single episode. And yet never appeared. Never once. No. Was Not invited, even, never even we invited. Tried to hide him. We tried to hide him. We do. But we failed. Mostly it's just you guys yelling at me. That's true. Well, we really wanted Kenny on the show and we're like, we can't invite Kenny and then we're Nate's. We're like, oh, but Kenny lives so far away. <laughs> he lives so and then, far away. And then away. like Nate's Such in the back drive. and like, okay, we'll invite Nate too then, uh, fine. I know, right? <laughs> so Kenny and Nate, how do people find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitch right now, twitch.com or slash the boss right now. It's a working uh, work in it? progress. How do they spell that? Uh, it's the like T H E and then B A W S S. The boss. The, the boss. It's like I said, I'm still working on the name. It's, and like I'm I supposed said, to be there's three green, but Steve's someone here. stole my Abs- name. Absolutely beautiful. Nate, what's your what's yours? Uh, you can find me. I'm Nate Green Games on everything. On everything. That's, well, that's good branding. That I use. That's meaning, good branding. YouTube that's really good branding. And, and Insta. Maybe Kenny could re-listen to this podcast I, and hear well, your part about the branding. You know, I got YouTube right now. It's youtube.com slash Kenny Green. So I want on that department. Right bad, there. Are you bad posting branding. anything there? Uh, he has a 30-second uh, test video. Very yeah, nice. No. Yeah, everyone Kenny. should go check that out. <laughs> I've, I've got 300 subscribers it's okay to on be, this. Show, it's so. okay to be the boss, but you just have to be that on everything. You just can't be like Ken Green on one and then the boss on another and yeah. then like I eat shit on this one and then like no one can find you. These are branding gotta, lessons. See, but Nate's the That's same true. all of them. So I tried the to do it, but again, someone stole my identity on Twitch. I don't know they how. They stole it. Kenny Green. They stole Kenny Green. Oh, no. They stole your identity. It's such an uncommon you. name. Yeah. I've never heard anyone. I don't know that's how I'm going to get a suspicious character. What do I do? Do I like submit a ticket? Just be like, hey, I want my name. I yeah, think you should call the ticket. cops. Yeah. Yeah. It's identity yeah. theft. Call the FBI. Yeah. Uh, so today we thought we would do a topic of should they don't tell you about joining the service or joining the military. Their, the military. They're actually both in the Air Force. Well, Kenny so, is actually a fucking veteran, and he'll yeah. have you know that. Yeah, and I he am. he makes it serve a point my country to let everyone yeah. know. It. Yeah, but you're you're retired, right? Kenny's yeah. actually retired no. from the Air Force. Yeah. yeah, and how old are you, I'm, Kenny? Uh, twenty six. Yeah, so and you're retired. Some, a retired quite veteran. Some problems with the. Uh, yeah, should they well, don't tell you about being a veteran? I mean, of medi- the medically Air retired. Force. I got I got medically separated. So and then I got compensation for it because of the injury. So that's dope. What was your injury? Uh, have Chilling a, in the office chair? No, I have a back. I got a back injury, man. Like it sucks. Chilling I too hard. Too. I got uh, sacroiliitis. Oh so, dang! Oh, that's yeah. real. Yeah, that's real. It sounds like you made up that word. Yeah, yeah it no, does. What, what is that, Ken? Uh, it's uh, it's just a lower back condition. You get uh, nerve pain that happens in your lower back, goes down your leg. Oh, hey, Jesus! My lower back is fucked too. Yeah. And you hey, both? my upper back. My upper back. Is hey, we all have fucked hey. backs. Hey, yes. my back right is really tight, oh, and I really enjoy my back. That's Thank sick, you. dude. Uh, can I ask Nate? You also are. You're both in the Air Force, or some call it the Chair Force. I find that controversial. Uh, I feel like my oh, job, yeah. actually, both of our jobs exemplified the Chair Force. The yes, Chair Force, absolutely. Yeah. So Nate, you worked intelligence in the Chair Force. I did. And Kenny, you worked. Uh, what did you work? Air traffic control. Yeah. So we both sat around for many, many, many hours a day. Uh, just in chairs. I was battling swamp ass most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> that's a, a deep war. That's a war that's been going on for yeah. a while. You have to stand up and like move around and hey. you, you, have the, to, you can't be sitting down for too long. The founding fathers were battling the same thing. Right yeah. <laughs> were they? They're sitting down like debating. With no AC. Stuff. No AC. Yeah. Oh, it's can terrible. I can I ask you though? So you guys, why did you, why did you both join? Uh, I joined because. Well, Nate actually, uh, he told me to join. He joined because of me. <laughs> he, he told me. He says, hey, it's like a good career he opportunity. <laughs> he said, uh, you know, you get paid and you have health care taken care of. And he, he said I mean, he I was enjoying it. Eh. And he was in Korea at the time. Nate, so. was it a misery loves company thing or were you really enjoying it? No, no, no. Okay. So I joined because of a bunch of reasons. I thought I was getting married at the time. Mm-hmm. Classic. Glad that's that a didn't fun work story. Out. Yeah, that's yeah. a fun That's a fun one. That's a fun um, story. Like, and I, I worked at a blockbuster. I was just like not doing anything. I was between a rock and a hard place basically. And like the economic downturn had started, was underway. So I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna join the military because 
dad told it, told me to. Yeah, and dad <laughs> is also a veteran. So yeah. you joined yep. because dad told you to, and you joined because Nate told you to. Also, yeah. I was in a relationship. I knew we were going to get married, so it really made a lot of sense to join because they really take care of, uh, you know, married you couples. Spouse. Yeah, they do a good job of taking care of you get, everyone. You get paid extra, you know, for having a spouse. Yeah, so. that's sick, dude. But, how how yeah. come you didn't marry two women? You could have got extra. You could have done extra. Dude, if it was, dude. Oh, it says you know you can't you know have more than one spouse or whatever. Got it. So, so I, I already really tried asking Mormon someone. I was there. like, hey, can I have like three or four wives and get like triple or quadruple the money? And they're like, no, like that's like you know you can only be married to one person per like the UCMJ. I'm like, oh, okay, that got sucks. it. But got it. It sucks okay. that they actually put that like into the rules. So can I ask you guys okay. both when you get to boot camp, what's that like? <laughs> Oh, I it's, remember we on, had different experiences. Very okay. different. Yeah. Because I remember when you were headed out, you guys were terrified. Oh, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Well, it, it was also like both Air of Force our... boot camp. Yeah, I mean, come what on. What does that mean? It's not the Marines. It's different. It's a lot different. Yeah. Well, Is well, it explain. easier? Is it yes. like the, yeah. the level one boot camp? Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say no. Oh, yeah? It's I'm not going to go ahead. And all the Marines out there are like, fuck you, dude. No, Hell yeah. No. Air Force boot camp was cake, dude. We yeah. all called it the most fun we never want to have again. That was a really common sentiment. The thing the is, thing. though, yeah. the thing is you don't realize how good it was until after you're out. Because during the entire process, you're in boot camp, you're stressed. Yeah. Like, this oh, is yeah. different. You're in there for eight weeks, and you're, you're experiencing something no one's ever experienced before. You know, only 1% of the country is going to experience that ever. And then you're in, you're uh, you're dealing with all this crap, and then you get out, and you're like, man, it really wasn't that bad. So, yeah. just, but take me through that first night. Um, you sometimes get, oh. I, I I go to this like booty class that they call it a booty boot camp, mm -hmm. and it like it like makes your glutes all strong it's and stuff. It's just like that. It's exactly it, that's like what that. I thought. See, I, I've been through yeah, it they too. Have very yeah. strong and glutes you, I was scared yep. at first, they, and going through it, I fucking hated it. But after, I'm like, damn, I got a tight booty now. So. She does. She does. I can confirm. I, I can confirm. Boot we got camp tight booties. Sentiments. Being in I can confirm. We and we even got like. They gave us, you know, camouflaged yoga pants. Well, That's really oh, there nice. you go. Yeah. Well, you got, nice. you got to, to yeah. show it off. Exactly. Yeah. So can, bring me, take me into that first night. You guys just got bust into your respective boot camps. You, I think Hell you both yeah. did in Texas, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. It, yeah. All of Air Force boot camp is in uh, San Antonio. Okay. Yeah. Lackland Air Force. So yeah. what's that first night like? You get off the bus. Tell me what happens. You get off the bus. It's a lot of they screaming. They start screaming. They immediately launch off and start screaming at everybody. What are they screaming? Yeah. Just like, hurry up, get off the bus, yeah. get your fucking ass off the fucking bus. What are you doing? Yeah. Like, it's it, all, they're like knife handing just like, you. And you're just like, like standing there, like, and you're like, <laughs> because you've got like, 10 people. Go that way. You've got 10 people screaming at you to go in 10 different directions, and you're like, yeah. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Well, uh, that's kind of like a battlefield. It's, Is that to like uh, break you down so they can build you up it's again? To simulate oh, well, the battlefield. Uh -huh. It's to, Basically. it's because that's what they, okay. So boot camp is like a game, because this is even the advice I gave you. And you said it helped. It's basically a game. So like yeah. they're all screaming at you, but you know because they're pretty upfront, they can't touch you. Like they say that? Yeah. They but can't let touch me you. tell you something, Megan. Just because I can't touch you doesn't mean I don't want to. Exactly. They, they can't even curse at you in Air Force boot camp. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Wow, they, this really is so, baby boot camp. So wait, it is. So when they're saying fuck when you're getting off the bus, they're saying get off the fucking bus. No, no, no they're, they're, they're get off the freaking bus. Or, get off the are first. you kidding me? They're saying freaking? Yeah. Or the best one Get off the fairy tale hey, bus. They are respectable <laughs> gentlemen. The the one that they use the most is like you're like uh it's the piss. Like they yeah. say, piss a what lot. What the piss are you yeah, doing, Airman? What the piss Airman? are you doing, Airman? It's all that stuff. Oh, wow. That's not yeah, scary yeah. though. No, it's so, not. Is it intimidating though? Because you just it got is. the bus. You just said bye to Mama and Dada, and you kiss them on the cheek and Dude, shit. These guys yeah. are swole too. Like most of these instructors are. Yeah, I really saw them at your graduation. Mine was like three feet shorter than me. I had one who was a freaking muscle tank, dude. Like six foot, like five, freaking yoked, man. I, I got a buddy man. who's short and yoked. Shout out to Bart. Uh, so tell me, tell yeah. me what's what's the deal with you're you're there and they're they're screaming at you and all this stuff. Yeah. What, what's that first night like? When first you're, night when you're uh, laying just there, terrified. Well, it, okay, yeah. Honestly, so you don't even sleep. You really don't. You you go in there. They lead you to your bed. So like, okay, go to sleep. You're going to sleep, uh, and then you wake up at like five thirty the next morning. And there's someone like rolls a trash can down the hallway. At least this happened for me. And they're like, everybody, get up, get up, get That's dressed, go to the showers, get naked, all this crap. And you're yeah. in a barracks with a ton of other dudes. It's like a it's yeah. like a hostel. And you haven't even talked to them. You're no. in there with like fifty other people, fifty other dudes. Yeah, uh, sucks. Or chicks if if you're if you're a woman. And like 
yeah, it's just quick. Like everyone, wake up, get the fuck in the shower, like just strip down. I don't care if you're uncomfortable. Yep. Yeah, go do all so of this. So is it a group, we have a group shower? Do. Yeah, yeah. Like think, oh, yeah. think like '80s gym, high school movie. Okay, yeah. that kind of thing. You got nice. dicks swinging everywhere. All yeah. over and dude. steamy, very steamy around. in there too, yeah. right? Oh yeah. Did you ever drop the soap? Everybody's just <laughs> looking up like this. I'm just looking up like this the entire time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want to see anything. <laughs> That's me at the movie theater when I'm when I'm going in the urinal. I'm always like, I don't want to see anything. There's so right. many people around you because everyone just got out of the freaking Avengers or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I just yeah. don't want to see anything. Dude, so far, I got to say, I haven't seen a dick in at least 15 years in, a, in a bathroom. That's pretty I good. can't I say that. I think that's a good record. What about your own? Of course. What are you talking about? Okay, I'm just... I don't look at my <laughs> he's own. A, he's a grower, <laughs> Of course Kenny. I don't okay, look okay, at my yeah. own. He's a grower. Okay. I never looked down. You can't yeah, see it. You can't always, like, can't see it till it grows. Just never... I haven't seen my own dick in eight years. I've seen it. Nikki's seen it. Nikki says it's there. But so, I did just see his butt for the first time like a few weeks ago. For the it first was time? Was months ago. Fir- yeah, thank How you. How does that happen? Oh, you guys I don't know. Are you so long? He is a never new. I'm not oh, a never new. Legit. Dude, dude the jorts. He's going to say he's not, but he really I'm is. I'm not a never new. He legit I'm going to go, when we go over to your place <laughs> later, I'm just going to open up your closet and see just G <laughs> cutoffs. Yeah. Yeah. Cutoffs <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> he's like, oh, actually. I've seen the dick a lot of times. Never the butt. Never, and I it's was like, like maybe walks he doesn't have one. To. That's yeah. weird. That's what yeah. I like is that she wanted to. It was mysterious, you know. I kept the mystery yeah. alive. Yeah. What did you think now, Nikki? I liked it. Oh. I enjoyed it, and I wish he would show it more. But it's only once in a blue moon. Uh, excuse the pun. Uh, so let me ask you this: So you guys, it's it's day one. How do you familiarize yourself with other people who are there? Uh, uh, man, I don't. The remember. entire the first shower. day, no one's yeah. really talking to each other because everyone's kind of like everyone's scared. Everyone's just scared. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's nervous. They don't want to like when you go into the cafeteria for the first time because you have to go out in formation. You have to send some guy inside of the chow facility to, and, in order to get permission to enter the and chow that facility. That poor bastard has like a list of procedures he has to do before we're even allowed <clears throat> to go in and eat. So if he fucks up, then everyone hates him. Oh, yeah. Because then that means that we get bumped to the back of the line. Yeah. Mm. That's like um, in NFL practices, they often um, they end the practice with letting the kicker. They're like, if you could hit a 40 yarder right now in front of everybody, we'll let everyone go. But if you miss, we're going to keep doing practice. So they feel that same pressure they'd That's feel in the game situations. That's thing. great. Yeah. Um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Go ahead. Yeah. So, so. You guys don't really get to know a lot of people when you're there. Oh, no, 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 you do. Not you initially. Form, you form okay. relationships, but the, I'm saying the first day, uh, everyone is just kind of just in their mind, just like, okay, I need to make sure I don't screw up so I don't get yelled at. Exactly. What was your darkest moment in, in boot camp? Wait, I want to know before before that, is anyone trying to alpha like right away? Mm, there yeah. was a couple people yeah. who were like clearly wanting to stand up and like take charge and be the boss. Yeah. But like it like the MTI. depending on the person it's either going to happen or not. Yeah. And some of these people just weren't the kind of person that could stand up and do that. But they don't know it. But they don't know it. Yeah. And then everyone just kind of forms around like eventually the MTI well, picks they, a leader. Yeah, like, exactly. There's an actual like person in charge that reports directly to him. And then like that and that's how we kind of get a person in charge of all of us, but yeah. Yeah, he was picked by the MTI. He volunteered, but whatever. Yeah, you got you got guys who volunteer, and then I had an entire class. No one volunteered for anything, so the MTI was just like Smart choosing class. one random person <laughs> to be the leader, and the guy's just like, "What the hell?" Do I do? <laughs> and then two days later, he shows another person. The other yeah. person ended up being a little better. Yeah, because if he's the leader, then it's on him if the, if you guys suck, right? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And then we went through leaders, a bunch, a bunch of leaders. Well, let's say you step up and find out who true leaders are, probably. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. I was or you not just realize that everyone nice. sucks. I was ducking leader. my head down the entire time. Dude, yeah. I think that's just like a... That was the advice you gave me. You no, said, and it's great advice. Yeah, it was. It's just stay in the middle, keep your head down? Yeah, because yeah. that's the advice dad gave me. Was like He was like, in the middle of runs, like everyone's going to be in this big-ass pack. And it's yep. true, everyone's in a pack. But there's always the, the guys in the head, and there's always the tail. <laughs> yep. The tail gets yelled at. There's MTIs jogging alongside them, screaming at those poor people. That yep. would be Steve. So oh, yeah. all you want to do <laughs> is be part of the group. Yep. If you can just kind of melt into the crowd, you've won. Exactly. You've and won, if you're, and you've if won you're, basic training. If you're too far ahead, too, that kind of gets you a little notice, too, because then they'll expect the same exactly. out of you. Like, you always, uh, they'll expect like you to be why the best. Your, Never stand out for any reason. Why are you digressing, That's great. basically? Because like, they truly want yeah. you to be a group. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's all team uh, teamwork. So you get punished else. on either side of the tail. Yeah, it's yeah. it's win together, fail together. Yeah, no what, matter what. What was the darkest moment for you in boot camp? Oh man, uh, uh, there was one time. 
man, I, I think I was in like, uh, I chose to go to like the Church of Christ because it was like an out uh, on Sundays. If you chose oh, to go to like yeah. religious meetings, um, they let you. It, it was honestly going to what church a was a way to get out story. of the building. <laughs> well, it, it was nice because it, it gets you out of the dorm and where everyone has to be at unless you go to one of these services. So I chose to go to one of these places and then, dude, I just. I, I was married at the time, and I, I miss Kayla so much, dude. I just you had a conjugal visit. No, 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 no. I didn't have no <laughs> conjugal visit. I was married to Kayla. I was gonna say Is I was just prison? like reflecting, you know, in the middle of the service, and I was just like, God, I miss my family so much. Yeah, that was, was back freaking... when you were married. What's it like now? Well, I mean, now, you were married at the time. Dude, you... Yeah. Well, you know, that was like when I was initially married. You know, and you, just, you, you were know. newlywed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. newlywed. Okay, yeah. so 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 you went to the the church of. You went to the church just to as a I will a say that and, and, and I made... reflected on life like a lot while I was in there and then I just I think I there was one time I just like kept my head down cuz I started crying. I don't know why, man, oh. but it was That's okay. I yeah. get it. But you, yeah, that was probably my darkest did moment. Did you cry Nate? Yeah, all the time. In, in boot camp? Yes. In front We're of such other freaking people? pussies. No, <laughs> at, at night in my judging. pillow. I'm judging. Oh, really? You yeah. should. I'm judging from over here. What, dude, but the... it's not like it was uncommon to hear people crying. Of course. No, but what were the what inspired the tears? I just I missed everyone. Yeah. Like it was my first time really being away from home. Like right. I missed mom. I missed you. I missed Ken. Like I didn't miss just, any was, of you. I just missed my wife. It's just depressing. I get it. Yeah. I get it. No, but I will say that Kenny <laughs> fucked up going to Christian church because I went to the Wiccan service and you got candy, motherfucker. Oh, that's tight. We got great. I juice, heard the Wiccan crackers, service has better nuggets too. But I got candy. I don't care about candy. So I was trying to candy, get fit, man, candy in know? boot camp is like fucking gold, dude. Did they really yeah. have a Wiccan service? Yeah. yeah. What's it like? It's mainly just everyone sitting in circles talking yeah that's fun yeah see that's and great. then they pass out candy like i got i got like cookies and shit it was awesome yeah. see that's what i didn't like about the catholic church is you got to keep on sitting up and sitting down hey and... you get wine when i never in the got catholic wine. church oh well you fucked up you didn't do communion you or something kneel, then stand they only up. give us like the little yeah, cup. Sing. it's like a little oh. like you know a coffee creamer cup yeah it's like one of those but of grape juice yeah oh, like, well you want that when you were kids no, at, at the at church the service. And oh. It's like, whatever, We got dude. crackers, That's too. That's lame. It's pretty sick. Oh. It's like a, oh, it's not even a cracker. Then. It's yeah. a wafer. What about the Buddhist one? You guys ever try that one? No. Oh, I almost I went to the Buddhist one, and then I went back to the Wiccan one because I knew they had candy. Yeah, the it. Buddhist, probably they don't eat candy. Probably, I mean, no attachments. That's true. They probably don't even need yeah. anything, yeah. dude. They probably yeah, are like, you like, can. You don't even need food. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. no, I wouldn't go to that. You don't get them. I actually think I get them the most. Probably. Out of all the religions. Yeah, same. Yeah. Uh, so, so now you guys are, are finished with boot camp. Would you say that you're more men than you were going in? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> well, that's the I meeting, right? Okay. Yeah. Initially you kind of do feel that way. Cause when you, when you do graduate, you kind of feel like, oh shit, like I just accomplished something like huge. Like you just okay, graduated yeah. boot camp. And you know, when you have your family come visit, you kind of feel pride, you know, when you're wearing the uniform. Uh, in front we, of them. we felt proud because for the first time in our lives, uh, like dad and grandpa, were voiced pride in us. Yeah, well, did, did you feel like you, it yeah. gave you purpose. Uh, yeah, I, I, I did. Like Twenty I, minutes. Yeah, exactly. So it's like it's like a high. Like you just graduate boot camp, then you go to tech school, and then it just goes downhill. Yeah, and then you go to your job, like wherever you're stationed, and then it can go up or downhill depending on well, uh, it's, the it, relationships you build. It will go up and downhill depending on relationships, your commander. Yeah, like everything. Well, at least you guys had Grandpa tell you that he was proud of you. That must have been nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. maybe if you had joined the yeah, Air you Force, yeah, he would have okay, been proud of you too. First of all, yeah, you sad sack. Your grandpa told told, you to talked about oh. how you watched your videos all the time. So, yeah. about other people, that's not true. myself. Okay, well, yeah, uh, well, that's what a grandpa should do. I only mm -hmm. found that out when he was on his deathbed. <laughs> he used to just give me jokes. Uh, he would give me printouts of jokes. He once gave me a binder of jokes that was like like as thick as a dictionary. Yeah, it was all and like, like, printed like, out emails. It was all printed out emails yeah. of jokes and then like old Car old Johnny Carson bits. And he's like, you should probably you should use these fucking jokes. Yeah, or or fucking, yeah. What's the one they all That's love like, the fucking red skeleton? Red skeleton. Red That's skeleton. Mom, oh fucking God, red skeleton. Exactly. Mom fucking loves that shit. The red skeleton comedy hour. Right. He gave it to me every year was, for Christmas. But he never told me anything about me being good. He just gave me other people's bits to do. <laughs> He was trying to connect. I get it, but that's what I'm saying. I never, like, he, they at least had a moment where they heard this shit from the man. No, it's like my dad, so he doesn't really say anything. <laughs> but but then he called me randomly last week, and he's like, you know what? I walked to my office. I heard these people talking. I was like, who's in my office? And then I went in my office. My dad doesn't sound like this. I don't know why I'm no, doing an impression. Like, no, he does like, sounds and nothing then, like And him. then I, I no, went no. in my office. <laughs> 
don't he, know what basically he went in his office and he my, our podcast was playing so he had been listening to some other podcast episode which means he listens to the podcast so i was like wait so you listen to the podcast because i was like oh shit i've been saying a lot of those yeah, been... <laughs> podcast oh, and he's like choice? he's like well oh <laughs> yeah. uh, well i i i i, I listened to uh like all oh, i listened to an episode i was like oh That's let's amazing. see what, what this is oh. about hey ben <laughs> you, was his you know the one where we're talking about how she's blowjobbing me and shit <laughs> Oh shit! I mean, oh, my God, he's, he's heard oh, way wow. worse than my that's stand-up. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but but that's his. I think that's his way of being like, "Hey, I'm proud of you." So I, I, that's how I have to interpret that. <laughs> you know? Yeah, jeez, so. oh, I love it. <laughs> that makes I love you, Dad. Everything love, we're doing so much it better. Does. I love it. Yeah, it does. All, all we're seeking in life. Yeah. <laughs> all we're seeking in life is acceptance from oh, yeah. our superiors. It yeah. is true. I think that is one of the driving things behind all people. Oh is yeah, we're all looking for some kind of acceptance that we'll yeah. probably never get Validation. from some kind yeah. of like authority figure, be it your parents or like whatever. Oh, when That's I finally... why self acceptance is so huge and so hard. Yeah, and, and it's funny now when I finally and why I'll never be happy. Mm -hmm. True. When I finally get it. Like a little morsel of it from the old man now, because you know I've done a couple things now. Um, it sort of bounces off me like bullets. Isn't that yeah, weird? Yeah, because yeah. you're so conditioned to yeah. not hear it yes. that you you're like that couldn't have been a compliment. I'm like that no, can't be can't right. Be. I'm not sure I'm hearing this correctly. Yeah, well, yeah. No, no, no. See, and that's what to bring it back around. Like dad's former self when he used to be angry all the time and yell yes. at us. Yes. Um, is what prepared I think both of us really well for boot camp because yeah. oh, it taught yeah. us. I don't know if this is true for Ken, but when somebody is in my face screaming at me, mm -hmm. I just shut down. Yeah, same here. Like, it, immediate blank face. Like, I'll just be like, yeah, okay. All don't right. care. Don't you're care. You're not intimidating me, man. Yeah. You're not scary. I think you're a little pussy boy, dude. Look, Basically, my yeah. dad's yeah. scarier than you, man. And then if you just <laughs> yeah. you just immediately go blank, and you're like, okay, sure, yes, sir, whatever, yeah. bye. Especially if they're saying frickin' and not like, my dad oh, yeah. would use every curse yeah, word in the book. Yeah, my dad's like cursing a Although, storm. I did have one time I accidentally, we were doing like pull-ups or something in, uh, in basic, and I jumped down, or my arms are so tired I fell, and I like stumbled and I ran yeah. into a, an MTI behind me. And, oh no. And that dude was like just he just stared at me for like twenty seconds. And then he was like, trainee, get your fucking face down in the dirt. He's like, I wanna see that dick in the dirt. It was some of the I, Damn. I couldn't laugh, but it was some of the funniest shit I had ever heard. Yeah, this great. guy was so funny. It's great when you get to think about it later. Oh, yeah. Like how oh, funny yeah. those cats are. And like, and like three, like two other dudes came up. All three of them are screaming at me. And it was everything I could do while I was down there just doing push-ups to not start fucking cracking up. Yeah, because you're used to getting yelled at. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, it becomes it's, funny. It's like when you go through the haunted houses around Halloween and like you're just laughing because the actors can't like touch you or do anything. Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. You're exactly. Like, That's right, exactly yeah. It's exactly that kind of game. Yeah. It really is. You're really trying and really hard not to laugh, especially when the MTI is like, I, we had one MTI, he was an MTI in training, and he was uh, giving directions to march everyone around. But like every, uh, every like ward or two, um, he would chant, he would like crack, his voice would crack. He'd be like, hop, two, <laughs> three, four, hop, two, three, four. <laughs> And I was freaking laughing my ass off, but luckily I was in a crowd and I was like keeping my head down, just freaking laughing. But How do you keep from laughing your ass off? Because you know if you get your, if you do laugh, you guys, are, you're not only you're gonna suffer, but your fight's gonna suffer. Mm -hmm. What do you do? You dig deep. You just dig you deep, deep, dude. You think of grandma naked. But sometimes yeah, but you can't I mean, dig deep enough, man, and just it comes out like yeah. it's so hard, man. Especially, Especially when you just try and, and then you just try and play it off like a sneeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Especially yeah. if like you're on a lack of sleep and like. Uh, oh, yeah you're tired and exhausted i always get so delirious yeah. and like i'll laugh at like really bad comedy like when i'm when Same. i'm yeah. Uh, yeah really exhausted oh yeah <laughs> that's and why that's... they get you drunk at comedy shows right. <laughs> <laughs> just in case when people are bad then you still laugh dude and that's yeah. why if sometimes you if you if they're movie premiering a particularly bad movie they'll give extra drink tickets to everybody because they want everyone to remember yeah. that it was fun oh. <laughs> <laughs> they want everyone fun to remember the feeling that they had out. yeah yeah that's amazing. That's great. It's a great. So, cool uh, you were how many years were you in the Air Force State? I did six. Six and Kenny. I uh, I got out early because of the medical. Situation. So not yeah. six. Five, he's retired. five years. I'm like two okay, but still like five that, years. But, uh, yeah. Out of those years, is there anything um, that you would go back and tell uh, your former self? Like, is there anything that you wish you would have known? Some shit that they didn't tell you that that would have prepared you more. Yeah. Oh. Man, I wish they. <sighs> I wish they told me how much volunteer service you'd have to give while you're in the armed forces, because, or at least in the air force, because they don't really tell you like, uh, you know, you think you're about to go in there and do your job, and you know, uh, it's going to be like a hardcore military experience, like you see on all those commercials. Yes. Uh, but it's not really that way at it's all. Just like it a job. Depends on your job. Yeah, but yeah. mostly it's like a like a nine to five job. 
Uh, but then also they expect you if you want to get promotions to volunteer your time, uh, your free time, or if you, you can schedule it with your supervisors to do it during work too, but to volunteer at uh, like food drives. Maybe for you. Yeah, that was what I was doing. Got it. Uh, I don't know about Nate. Well, you're I, stationed in Oklahoma too. Nate was in a different. I didn't. Nate had a world. completely different experience in the military than me. Yeah, he had a dope different. experience. Uh, I was in uh, Oklahoma for freaking four years. Didn't dude. you want to go to sexy places? Yeah, I you want to go, go to Hawaii. You yeah. could have volunteered to go to Korea and gone to Korea. I could have, just like I did. But he got a wife, Nate. He got to be thinking about right, that. Right, so wife. you can't have your cake and eat it too, yeah, Kenny. But if he had gone to Korea, if he had gone to Korea for the year, if he had volunteered, because if you volunteer to go to Korea, you go. Basically, yeah. Um, if, if he had, he would have gotten extra money for being separated from Kayla. Got it. That's true. And then you guys, for, you guys are just basically you. extras in movies where you're like, I get a bump if you do this. If you if you get an extra Dude, line, that's you all get a bump. it is. Yeah, <laughs> that's all it is. Yeah. Uh, real quick. So 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 Kenny, you're you're an air traffic controller. Nate, your intelligence. Uh, air traffic controller. The meme about that is that it's one of the most stressful jobs in the world, and that the there's a higher suicide rate for the people who do it. Yeah. How hard is that job? Uh, really depends on the location you're working at. Like there are towers or uh, there's airspace that's very busy. There's airspace that's not very busy. Um, so I would say suicide rate probably for the busier airports like JFK and you know you got Atlanta. Maybe they're high. I don't know. I've never worked there, but uh, did you? It, it was not very busy at Vance when okay. I was working there. It's gotten a little more busy since I've left. Vance Air Force Base. Vance Air Force Base. But um, I. I never felt that stressed ever. When okay, I was working. nice. Wow, it was it was a uh, it was a nice experience. Were you initially great. intimidated by the job? Oh yeah, yeah. I felt super stressed out in tech training, um, technical school. When you go after boot camp, uh, these guys are like trying to push you to your breaking point because they want to see what your breaking point is and see if you can handle all the stress. Um, and I managed to do just fine. Like initially, I was I was really stressed, but I broke through it. Like I broke through the ceiling and mm. I. Uh, I ended up doing really well. What's and an I, example of them pushing you to your breaking point at, at an air traffic control position? Well, uh, say, let's see, in the tech school, we were working, uh, training during radar. And if you'd make like one mistake, like let's say you don't give the right vectors or the right altitude to this guy, um, they'll start yelling at you and seeing if you can correct the mistake or if you're just gonna buckle down under the pressure and just be silent. That's mm -hmm. one way of uh, testing how stressed out you get during the job is if can you correct your mistake or are you just gonna sit there and let something happen did you watch guys melt down yeah oh yeah really yeah and i melted just like, down myself i can't do it i quit yeah <laughs> that's amazing do they have, do you do you have to ring a bell if you quit no Ooh, good no. idea though uh not not in well, that's my like job, it is in but... gi jane yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh nate let, let's, let me ask you a similar question mm. you did intelligence was it geospatial intelligence yeah basically imagery intelligence okay so yeah describe that for me um what how to describe this? define it yeah right um well so I should clarify that I don't have a clearance anymore like it was all top secret stuff I don't have access to any of that anymore so yeah hmm. um but it was basically just like, sorry, what was your question again? What's the secretest thing you can tell me? Ooh, <laughs> uh, nothing, because I don't want to go to jail for what, what, years. Uh, no, what's the most stressful part of intelligence? Like, what, what's that? What's your like day to day life like, and what's hard about it? Oh man, honestly, it's a lot like uh, Kenny over here. It's yeah. except it's, well, no, it's a lot like Kenny. Like, okay, so basically, my job was like the Wikipedia version. Is uh, we do like spy satellite stuff okay. we do uh spy plane stuff and then like drones See. and so like when you do the drone stuff you're actively going after and killing people which is fucked in my opinion and like i think that's a very controversial opinion right now it's and it's just it's that level of like somebody's life is in your hands yeah and, and then you take it and yeah or, i mean if you do <laughs> yeah right so like Kenny had a lot of pressure because his, a lot of people's lives relied on him. Yep. And for me, it was the same thing. It's just like, instead it's, am I right? Is this the guy that we're trying to kill or is it not? Yeah. Mm. And that's where the stress comes from. Yeah. yeah. Huh. huh. Yeah. Is it, were you ever in like a morality thing where you're like, should we even kill it all? Or were you like so programmed at that point that's like. <laughs> no, that's honestly, that's. <laughs> where ninety nine percent of my problems come from. Right, yeah. I would imagine so. Because yeah, after getting out, like I've got, I mean, I've got a PTSD and depression and all that stuff now. Like, and ninety nine percent of it is straight from like this moral 
battle I'm having within myself. Is any of this right? Like all yeah, that crap. Absolutely. Um, I remember when you first got out and you said you wanted to be an Amazon delivery guy. Yeah. And yes. it's like, it was the most Low random pressure, thing man. to me, so, but it makes so much sense. So coming yeah. out, you guys will never know this. Nate got offered a kick-ass gig where he would have basically done the, done what he used to do privately for buku bucks. Yeah. Like mm. sweet, sweet, sweet salary. Mm -hmm. And he said, I'd rather be an Am Amazon delivery driver. I which basically is, would rather die than do it again. Which is the second most suicidal job is what I've, I'm hearing lately. I mean, Amazon, Amazon? makes sense. Yeah, delivery it. driver? Yeah, or dude, what about the package These people, people are like pissing in potted plants and shit because they've got to be on yeah. time for yeah, the deliveries. Yeah, the no, but Amazon so, two-day delivery prime delivery. Yeah, but soon you're going to have those Amazon cage workers, like those guys in the warehouse. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. <laughs> <Just> poor people. <laughs> <laughs> Driving that little dude, car. Dude, that's going to be the freaking highest suicide job. I think you're right. Rate. Yeah, that's right. going to be yeah. it. But they can't go They can't go kill themselves because they're in the thing. Anyway, we're going on a break. And when we come back, we will talk about uh, maybe not that. I think we'll talk more about it. Okay. Coming right back. Coming right back. On shit, they don't tell you. Don't you just love warm alcohol, Steve? There's nothing that I love more than warm alcohol, Nikki. Then you're a weird person. That's so gross. Why are you here? You're disgusting. Oh, oh God. Most people don't like warm alcohol. Who are you? I don't know anyone who actually likes warm alcohol. Yeah, nobody does. That's why Dylan, the founder of Brewmate, invented these Brewmate items. And he, uh, they sent us some. And they honestly came in so clutch this weekend. Um, I got the wine insulator and the corked wine glasses, which are really cute because they have a little sippy part for you to sip out of while still maintaining the temperature of the wine. So we were able to have a full bottle of ice cold Riesling from the refrigerator out at the beach all day in the hot 88 degree sun and it never went up in temperature. Not even an iota. No. You can look up that. That's a unit of temperature. I went up in temperature. That's for sure. But my wine stayed cool as a cucumber. That's because your bikini was hot, hot, hot. Oh my gosh. Don't, don't talk about that. Sorry. You're making me blush. Speaking of blush... We were able to drink a full bottle of blush, <laughs> ice cold. <laughs> Thanks, brewmate. <laughs> no. But seriously, don't settle for warm alcohol. It's gross. Don't be gross like Steve. No, I was kidding. Okay, good. <laughs> Chill out with your favorite drinks all day long with Brewmate. Visit brewmate.com and add code YOU to get 15% off your first order. And look, I'll be very honest. The cups that you got, yeah, that's the sparkly... Whatever that is. Oh, yeah. Unicorn glass, whatever that is. Oh, it's so is. cute. It looks dope. Dude, okay, so I got, like, they have so many different colors. It was so hard to choose. This one was a, like, <laughs> the most unicorny. It was pink. like chickwear. It yeah. was. It was very Instagram worthy. Yes. Let me just say. Yes. Can I just say? Am I allowed to say? You can say it. Okay. It was very Instagram worthy. Oh, I was, I was wrong. They're telling me you're not allowed to say it. I, w I already said it. What do I do? <laughs> I don't know. All we right, guys. Get 15% off your first order when you go to B R U M A T E dot com and add code Y O U. We got to go. Bye. We got to go. Shouldn't have said it. And we're back. Thanks for coming back and staying tuned. Uh, where did we leave off? Steve? Uh, we were just talking about the most suicidal jobs in the world. No, we, no, no, no. I think we went past that. I think, think we went into that. specific Dark. suicides now. No, yeah, we did. I don't yeah, think yeah, we did yeah. that. We did. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we went into death videos, really cool death videos on yeah. YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah those are fun. That's uh, pretty cool. What uh, is it? Streets of Blood or? Oh, Jesus. Or Red Asphalt. Red Asphalt's a fun red one. Red Asphalt, That's yeah. a fun one. That scared me. Nate, yeah. is there something that you would have told your former self uh, when you started that you wish you would have known? Pick a different job. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because of what you went through? Yes and no. Like, there's a lot of it that I would change. Like, you grew a lot from it, but then there was a lot that you, you're like, maybe I would have gone a different exactly. direction. Exactly. There, there's a lot that I would never trade for anything. Like, I've made some of the best and last, like, most longest lasting relationships I've ever had. Like, mm -hmm. the best friends I've ever known. Like, these people are my fucking family. You know? Yeah. Like, um, and I don't think I would ever trade that for anything. Right, yeah. right. Even even with all the bad, it's like, I, I still got a lot of good out of it. Mm-hmm. You know? So I think that's how people feel about having kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, Kenny? Yeah. You have a dude, kid. Oh yeah. yeah. Dude, Liam is the freaking best. So. Kenny's yeah. got a baby. There's no, I got no a doubt. Baby. Another baby on the way. Yeah. Uh, Nate, so I gotta say, n knowing you both pre and post military, you're it's crazy how now, like since we work together all the time, like 
dude, you're early all the time to everything. You were not mm-hmm. like that before. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like there's like just a certain um, discipline that you have. Yeah, Nate lived with us for a, like what? How long? Like a month like or month? something? It was like about a month. And oh, wow. I forgot about While I was that. Looking for a like, place I, in this godforsaken city. <laughs> yeah. Like Steve brought it up the other day, and I was like, Nate lived with us, and I totally forgot because every day he everything was folded. Every, it was like no one even lived there. Dude, like he was like he didn't live there. So tiny. I was like, there's not enough. How did you fold it this tiny? He like folded it better sick. than I folded. That's so. that's what you get out of going to boot camp. Yeah. Like one hundred percent serious. Like you learn about like folding your clothes, rolling your t-shirts. Okay. I don't know if you still do that, Nate. Fuck but no. I still roll my t-shirts. No, you? no, I'm just joking. You still like make yeah. them perfect. Everything's got to oh be God. perfect. Like for but most no. people, I think if an in-law lived with you for a month, like you'd fucking remember that. Yeah, you would <laughs> hate it or remember but, it. Nate, but it wasn't Nate, even like I, Nate was there. It was like we lived with a mouse that didn't even squeak. Yep, it was crazy. Yeah, I mean, a lot of that is just like just drilled into you, you know they like teach you the yeah. punctuality yeah 15 yeah. minutes early if you're not 15 minutes early you're late yeah 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 like literally yep. like the call time was 15 minutes early to work no, before I had, scheduled I actually, start time yeah. so my dad my grandpa was military he was um navy and my so my dad grew up in a military family and so he even though he wasn't in the military he passed that on to us like that discipline type of like if you're early you're you're on time you're on time you're late and if you're yeah, late yeah. then you're you shouldn't have been gone or whatever um and and so i always had that in my head i had to learn how to chill because i was always the first at parties and it was so uncool like it was so and like yeah. it was so lame and like even now steve's like oh we can wait to go to this oh party and like but we're already 30 minutes like that's like that's like so yeah. late Dude. that's like <laughs> yeah. Jack Douglas, if you're listening i'm sorry we come to your party at when first. the party starts man we're the I'm only people trying, there i'm trying to be so chill i'm like okay but oh. it, it's but 30 it's minutes late okay but <laughs> why would they tell say the party starts at eight if, it, That's if what no I one even do. gets there till nine it's brutal dude I'm i used so to go to confused. improv parties like an hour before they close so fuck me <laughs> up because <laughs> that's what you do yeah. yeah you don't go be the first guy there and help no. him open no. the keg and shit no, no one wants to be the minutes. first person no. at a party no. i know and i was i didn't Nikki really have a so, i didn't have a social life really when i was a teenager um and then also my dad instilled this punctuality on me so it really helped in business but at social life and and like coolness factor, oh, I'm very damaged. Right, very yeah. damaged no, by that punctuality. Same. I'm on time everywhere I you go, are. no matter what. It's incredible. Yeah. But do you sit in your car? I'm way wait. worse off for it. If I'm alone and I'm too early, like I can tell, like not very many people are there. I just sit in my car and wait and have anxiety. Oh, yeah. No, you guys. <laughs> I do the every same thing. time that you guys, when I first moved here, would invite me somewhere and I'd get there first. Yeah, you'd always find me just in my car <laughs> chilling. Dude, I just did. I yeah. do the same thing. Thank God for smartphones because mm-hmm. otherwise you'd be so freaking bored. Nah. Right See, there were tricks like carry a book in your car. That's what I used to do. Dude, we were just about to. This is just, just, I'm not even kidding you. This is just the other day. I was walking to the drugstore to get like a monster because we were about to shoot Sticky Show. And I turned to my left and Nate's sitting in the car. And it's like, Yep. 30 minutes before we even start it the show. Was what do you mean? It was like an How hour and a half before Nate. the show. Damn. What a loser. 15 minutes. What a friggin' loser. Maybe yeah. yeah. listen to a podcast like Should They Don't Tell You and, and he was I really do? sucked in. I, I, that's actually what I was doing. I, I, I just, just wanted away. to finish up, get to away. a stopping point. See? Yeah. See? I pointed and laughed, didn't I? Yep, yep you did. I sure did. <laughs> you were like, and then we walked to the gas station. What a loser. Okay, so you guys coming out of the military, how do you adjust? It's actually not that hard. Yeah, it really isn't. It's really just you don't go to work anymore and everything else is the same it's more lax yeah like they teach you like they have this little uh they call it taps it's a transition assistance program basically and they teach you like uh you know now that you're joining the civilian world again just know that you don't have to be 15 minutes early for everything like most people usually run a little late thanks actually. dad <laughs> Wait, they, they actually try to teach you to be a little late for shit well no <laughs> they, they try and teach they, you to be like right on time yeah okay, right okay. on time you don't gotta be 15 minutes early you don't gotta say yes sir no sir anymore you oh, can yeah, just we had to say start that calling too. people it's, by their first name we had to name. say sir yeah. and we had to say um pardon me instead of, we couldn't say what like if you if you said what he'd be like excuse me and i and like i said what did you say i couldn't hear you well, i'm sorry and then he's like, we had to say, pardon me. <laughs> so like, oh my pardon God. Pardon me? Pardon. <laughs> See, because of my job and because my job was real high stress, like everyone was pretty chill. Like even oh, our bosses really? were pretty There's chill. There's a contrast. Yeah. It's, yeah. They realize that you can't run people hard off, like when they're not actually working and run them that hard when they are working. Yep. Otherwise, you just have people fucking melt down. Yeah. Wow. I saw it happen a couple of times when we had some bad bosses. What's that like? A meltdown, like oh, it's. Ba- I mean, I had one once. Like it, it's bad. You just lose your shit. It's it's a lot like a panic attack, actually. Yeah, really? yeah. yeah. 
I've gone through something similar with my job too. It's just uh, like when you get a whole bunch of airplanes in your uh, airspace at one time, you're talking to like seven, eight people at once and you're and they're trying to give them directions on what to do. It gets nuts because your frequency, like you're trying to talk to all these people, but people are stepping all over each other because they're on one frequency. You can only transmit, you know, one person at a time on that frequency. So people oh. are, it gets congested. This is yeah. how I feel when I have three emails to respond Dude, to. It gets, it, it builds up. That's what I'm saying. It builds up and you can't like, you can't crash. You have to be yep. able to deal with the stress because otherwise, you know, it sounds like waitressing, die. which is why yeah. a lot it, of it us actually is all like that. Yeah. Which I is had why we all survive on energy drinks. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Dude, that is a staple in my Probably air traffic control is energy drinks. When is I was it? stationed in Germany, yeah, uh, my squadron had the worst teeth on the base because of our energy drink problem. Is that right? Yeah, they, and they were like, "Look, we have the worst teeth on the base." Dental told us, "You guys need to cut it out with the fucking monsters." <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell this guy that too? Because hey, like, might be yeah, great. because as I'm drinking one myself, that clearly took. I brush yeah. twice a day. That's the trick. You gotta brush twice a day. You gotta brush twice. That's the trick. Nikki, you're dude, it's already. all good if it's zero sugar. You know, zero sugar, zero carbs. That's carb. what I'm saying, yeah. baby. It's just like water. It's yeah, probably totally. even better. It's, you know? it's got Hell vitamins yeah, it's in it, man. What plants crave. Does water have vitamins? Like, See, now you all so. are getting a little window into my world. <laughs> so, uh, I have a question. Um, so, Kenny, um, what are you, like your favorite video games and like apps and stuff that you play like, in your leisure time? Uh, and I'm going somewhere with this. Well, I like to play. Uh, I recently bought Rage Two. That game is freaking phenomenal. Like, is it? I love really? it. Is yeah, it, it is great. Is it yeah. L sick? It's it's sick. It plays like I don't know if you guys ever played Doom before. Yeah, uh, yeah like Doom Yeah, like it's, the new Doom. It's so yeah, the oh, new okay. Doom. New Doom is dope. new Doom is dope. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. If you haven't played New Doom, you gotta play it. It's super fast. Play New Doom first. Do play New Doom first. Actually, you play can probably Rage just skip 2. Rage Two. Just yeah. play New Doom. Yeah. Absolutely. Don't even play Rage 2. Just play, just New, play Doom. New Doom. Do you find yeah. that you, like, even though that was really stressful being in the Air Force, that you kind of, like, crave that same stimulation in, like, games and stuff? I, uh, a Like, little, you, like, kind of well, stress yourself out with games? Well, yeah. I mean, because it is a really satisfying feeling, like, uh, surmounting, you know, the pressure. Yeah, yeah. It really is. Like, you feel like, like, oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. Like, I feel, like, freaking great. Yeah. yeah. You feel like an alpha. Like, damn, I can go do anything now. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> uh, it's. Exactly, I kind of do crave that. You're like, you I'm know, gonna go buy brass balls and put them on my fucking yeah, truck, man. Yeah, <laughs> but, like, but I, you like crave it in like a more controlled environment. environment. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Where you can actually win and stuff. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, Dude, I want to win all no the time. Kobayashi yeah. Maru bullshit. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I because yeah. I noticed I did that. I hated the restaurant industry so much. I worked as a waitress for 11 years, and I would have nightmares all the time about serving. Like, because it's fucking stressful like people that are hungry are mean yeah. and then also they don't understand how restaurants work like if you get sat too much at one time like you can't physically be there for everybody even though you're supposed to and then everyone hates you and then they yell at you and so it's like you know I had those nightmares and then after I got out I, I always play those like restaurant games those like overcooked games Dude, and, like, the, like oh. stress Dude, like is you, tight, you know <laughs> I love saying after I got out at a, at a, about I a waitress job. I feel like I got job. out. It's no, because no, people yeah. don't get it's out. Great. They don't get out. No, we like we say the same thing. It's like, oh yeah, when did you get out? It's you like you were it. in fucking jail. Yeah, dude. yeah. Because yeah. you, because okay, so like at waitressing, like you made pretty decent cash for like that level of working. You had a flexible schedule. It's really hard for people, especially if you're in the entertainment industry, to quit because yeah. like even though you came there to be an actor or like an artist or something like that, you're making that's this is what paying your bills. Uh, this is what what it is paying your bills, and uh, y even though it's stressful, you have this sense of accomplishment after. It. Like mm -hmm. I can do it. Like I can overcome this crazy stress, and then still make it to my uh, auditions or whatever it is, acting class. And then after you don't have to do that anymore. Like when I finally was making enough of a living doing entertainment that I could just stop doing restaurant stuff. I was like, wow, like this is way too chill like this is yeah. I don't even know because I just have to sit around and wait for like the next gig to come mm -hmm. and that's like not stressful at all and like it's not challenging and I'm like confused I'm like I feel like almost like I shouldn't be earning that money because yeah, it's sure. like not as challenging and then I found that the games I would go to or like actually like like get mag get attracted to were the like stressful games I don't know why really yeah, it's like masochism almost. Maybe it's yeah. like maybe it's like uh, you're seeking like mental stimulation, like you need to constantly yeah. challenge yeah, your mind or something. Yeah, because because like you're be. missing that yeah. stimulation. Yeah, you, yeah. You feel like you yeah. need it. Still. Yeah, because mm -hmm. like waiting in between gigs is like really hard. Yeah. Like, yeah. When in the beginning, when it's like they're they're few and far between, and you're like, okay, I, I'm barely surviving, you know, like, but I gotta wait for the next gig, or, like the next person to hire me, and so like the wait in between is like 
gives you anxiety and i used to like get it, get that out with waitressing and yeah. oh, and that's then funny. uh yeah and so i i found that i, I never like, did a service job yeah, i think i'm the wow. only person here who never did one yeah. let's go get one dude and I, it shows i did uh, and does retail it shows. Count? Yeah. no retail doesn't count retail doesn't count no, no. service that's is all like, i that was the only job yeah, i worked, had you oh, worked for the old man at uh american medical yeah that first. doesn't count you work for your parents that doesn't count nah, no i worked as a janitor dude that's, that's, that's right that's a, <laughs> but that Me doesn't three. count it's a customer service job but it's not like uh it's not you're not serving. you're not yeah. held yeah. to the you're same not like, yeah, yeah. standard yeah, as everyone else. i only ever did retail oh, okay yeah. i yeah. did that uh, panera bread yeah, exactly. Scrubbing floors. Now I was like, God, just, just give me something else. <laughs> She's like, please, God. What's the worst job they gave you in the military to do? Did you have to empty the latrine. Nothing all was shit? worse than Panera Bread. Is Actually, that right? Blockbuster was. I used to work at Blockbuster before I joined. The famed Blockbuster yeah. video. Actually, the day before I left for basic, my store closed forever. Which is great Perfect timing. timing. Yeah. But Blockbuster was way worse than yeah. military. Really? Yeah. You know what? I'd rather rejoin the military than go back to retail. I think yeah. it comes wow. back to purpose, though, because you get more of a sense of purpose, don't you think? Like from, you know, saving yeah. lives and like Dude, fighting yeah. for your country. That military you, is awesome yeah. experience. Like seriously, like for some people, you know, Definitely they have different. Not for everybody. Yeah, not for everyone. But I mean, you <laughs> do, especially if you have some kind of problem with authority. Exactly. Like Check. like Steve. Yeah. And yeah. I have one too, which is why like. When you're saying like, oh yeah, you gotta say, you don't have to say yes sir, no sir. It's like that was never a problem for me because I never said it to begin with. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> oh yeah, See, I've always said it since I was a kid, just because of ma. No, I've never. No, I never. People said it. are always like, were you in the military? And I'm like, no. And they're like, well, well, I find. I mean, nobody says sir unless they has. And I'm like, well, my my family's basically all military. Yeah, I was I was such a spiteful dick about it too. Like they'd be like, no, you have to call me like technical sergeant, like use their full rank, and then like follow it up with a sir. And I was like. And I would just but respond the with sucks. exactly, <laughs> and so I'd just be like, "Sure, yes," like I just give sure, yes. sh like short, curt responses that no one can. You can't take them as rude because it's just a yes or a no. Sure, yes, but it's like not what they wanted either. Yeah, and I like doing that because it made them mad. Did you ever Dang. have anybody come up to you while you're eating lunch and they <laughs> flip your whole lunch tray over? I wish and yell at you. Tight. <laughs> Did, yeah, what are, are there any tropes that we all see in movies that are real in the military? Knife handing. What's that yeah. one? That's when, like, that when they're yelling and all they do is they just, like, straight hand and they just point it, like, in your face. You know, like... Uh, like, like Robert Patrick Terminator well, because 2. Because they, yeah. can't, they can't point like, at um, you. Arlie, well, it's like Mickey Mouse. Yeah. yeah. Or like Arlie Ermey in uh, Full Metal yeah. Jacket. Okay. When he's, like, doing that in the dude's face. Yeah. That's... They all do that. That's their way of pointing at you because yeah. they're. I don't think they're allowed to just. Yeah. They can't that. point. That's too can't offensive. Point. Disney, it's, 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 Disney, Disney employees can't do that. I'm not 100 percent certain about that, but that's probably just what I've. They heard. can use yeah. two fingers. Yeah, they could use. Yeah, two. and they, can, they, they have three. to smile. Yeah, they like have to a, present it. Like a, uh, what do you call it? Flight attendant. Yeah, and they're like, oh, oh true. And you could do a, a Bill Clinton uh, with the knuckles. Oh yeah, there you go with the thumb. <laughs> thumb knuckle. Yeah, yeah, there you go. The politician one. Yeah, the politician. Thumb knuckles is good. Oh god. Yeah. Um, did you ever have a moment where you're like, I'm quitting. I want to quit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When I was in Germany. Sure. What, what happened? We got a new boss, and he was running everyone ragged. Like, I had never seen so many <laughs> stressed out, pissed off people before. And just, it was it was bad for like two months. You're already in a stressful position. Yeah. Then these guys are coming at you with some stress. Yeah, and they're just unrepentant about it. How and did he get hired? He it's, was usually this problem happened when people from outside the job, like people who didn't grow up in Intel, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they, he was a former maintenance guy. So he's just used to treating the people under him differently, mm. not realizing that we have a different culture in this career. I see. You know? So it's just, it's differences. It's, I mean, as different as mine and Kenny's jobs, you know? Yeah. When, when, Gram culture. when Grandpa told you that he was proud of you, <laughs> what, oh my God. What did he say? Uh, like, Kenny, I'm shook proud of my you. My hand and said, "I'm real proud of you." Did, mate. That's you, did it. your grandpa ever shake your hand? Jesus, and say awesome. that it was real. I was, in my, I was in my uniform too, so he, he kind of like looked at me, like just like he's like, "I'm proud of you." Uh, this was like a week before I even left. Yeah. He was just happy I was leaving, I guess. And he said, "He, he said that he's like he's like proud of you, Nate. Good luck." That's fucking. That's incredible. That must feel nice. How'd that feel? It felt great. Honestly. I never really strove for grandpa's. Uh, approval he didn't, he didn't try. not really it felt like the best thing because you didn't need to no no because like i it. didn't care you always hit pocketed it i just didn't care why because he spent so much of my childhood yelling at me that i didn't care yeah but didn't you kind of love him for it because eh. I, I sure did, did. looking back i, like, I love the man he's such a badass oh he was such a I, I love the, the man, most but, badass man yeah 
but he screamed at me to the point where I just didn't care to get his approval. See, I loved him for screaming at me, sort of mm -hmm. like how I love my old improv coach Trenton for telling me how much I suck. Like I tell it, you, you suck all the time, and you do too. Is and that why you love me? And I, yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, no, but it, I find that it 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 helped me um, to grow mm -hmm. from these sorts of things. And so, the, but the fact that I never uh, actually got to hear him say that he was ever proud of me um, is just uh, it's a it's a branch that I'll always be reaching for, and I think that it will help me succeed in life. Oh, Whereas yeah. I think you'll both fail. Well, it's a shame then that you never got that and we did. Uh, wow, some would agree with that, <laughs> but I actually, I'm turning it into a win. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, it's whatever. Um, I think one of the <laughs> the times where I felt like I wanted to quit was it just like it really just depended where um, who was the supervisor during your shift. And we had one person who just would get stressed out on every little thing that would happen. My God, this is like a restaurant. Um, it was, it was, ter yeah. <laughs> I mean, people are the same no matter oh what. Oh my yeah. gosh, she, uh, so much stress. She would just unleash the stress on everyone and she'd yell at everyone. And then also there were times where the, the airfield would shut down early because of rain. This was probably the time I really wanted to quit now that I'm thinking about it. The airfield would close at like two, normally be closed at like eight. Um, but it closed at two because there was a huge rainstorm. And we're all waiting and sitting there waiting to get out because you have to be released by your supervisor. Um, so we're waiting. We wait an hour. It's three o'clock. Finally, someone walks in the room and they're like, yeah, y'all got to sit here for a while. Uh, we're going to go back downstairs and talk about something because uh, what you guys er, she was it was just pulling a power play. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so they'd go downstairs and they talk for a while. They come back up and say, OK, uh, so we're going to have a talk real quick about uh, teamwork. We're going to have a talk about experiences. Oh, no. Um, and so we'd stay there for another two hours talking about something. And we're all just sitting there just like, it. man, work just closed like three hours ago. We could have been fucking just death released. by briefings, dude. Yeah. This is just like corporate America. It is. Yeah. And then uh, Jesus. and then we and then we left and we're just like, God, like, I just want to get out of here or just get out of this. That reminds place. me when I was slinging printer toner in downtown L.A., dude. Right. Yes. Yeah, the yeah. same shit. I just remembered the the biggest instance I wanted to quit. It was in uh, Korea. They gathered us all on our day off, no less, nice. and threw us into like the deepest, darkest room in the building. And they <laughs> they instituted a gag order. So there's like 20 people in this room and none of us are allowed to speak because a bunch of people like the weekend before had busted curfew because in Korea we had a curfew of like 1 a.m. or midnight or something. And so we're all down there. People are getting called out. We can't even go to the fucking bathroom without our supervisor escorting us because they're like, no one is talking about this. The shittiest, shittiest thing. We were down there for 13 hours. 13 not, hours? 13 hours, not allowed to talk to a soul. And I didn't bring a book. It was torture. And you had no podcasts? No podcasts? Damn. Nothing, dude. We, we couldn't even play music. Ugh. Like, it was bad. Dude, and sucks. then we find out that all the people who were getting called out were the ones who were getting in trouble. And that they got to go home after. Oh. <gasps> so the first person who got called out at like 9, let's say like, you know, 7 a.m. They went home at like probably nine, and I was there till fucking like nine o'clock at night. So you got truly punished, and they really Damn. didn't get that punished. Well, I mean, they got punished in different ways. Later, yeah, they like lost stripes. A couple of them. <laughs> there are a lot of people got in a lot of trouble. Wow. What'd they do? They just stayed out past curfew. But that's the point it? is, they yeah. got to go home. Exactly, and, and that that's moment, the fucking killer. That's one. the principle. Yeah. yeah, because I didn't get to go home, and I was innocent. And he's like, I want to go home. And then that's like, because ultimately, like I want to quit. Yeah, I basically, quit yeah. I want to quit. I was like, this is fucking garbage. I can't even speak to people, and like, and you're ultimately punishing like me and three other people who didn't do anything, who were the only ones down there at the end of the night. Jesus. Yep, like it was bullshit. Would when, you would you both recommend the military to people listening? Yeah, absolutely. As an avenue, because you both got into it. Oh my god, you depends both on the person. We're kind of lost. You didn't know what you wanted to do with your life, right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, dude. The military they take care of their own. Like they seriously, do. you big time, and you get um you get really good job skills. Like for me, I got air traffic control. Uh, Nate, you have uh you you learned a lot of skills from your job. I like, did. I'm sure none that really carry over. But what about yeah, that? What about still. that job where you could help people um position? What is it? The solar panels? Oh yeah. I mean, there's there's stuff like that, and there's new stuff popping up all over because yeah. there's tons of open source like uh, satellite imagery now. Oh cool. That. I could work in, I guess, if I wanted to. But, but as a skill. I don't really want to. And, yeah, if, you, yeah, and yeah. if you didn't even want to join the military to learn that certain skill, you could always join. Uh, just 
pick a job and you can go to school while you're in the military. It's free. See, that's and why you get I three years of free school afterward. You four get the, or four. Yeah, you thirty-six four. months. Yeah, that's yeah. tight. So it's nice. That's ultimately why I joined was for the GI Bill. Yeah. Yes. So what you're going through right now? How's yeah, that? Yeah, which is what I'm doing right now. Uh, so I'm going. I'm just working my way through school, getting paid for it, and it's paid for. That's tight. So they pay my rent and it's they nice. uh, pay for my school. That's sick. And that's tight. And, yep. he's, and you're learning new skills there. Yeah. And then you get hands on experience working for a Sticky Studios. You should check out our Patreon. That's exactly right. Please yeah, check out, please our Patreon. Check out the Sticky Patreon. Studios. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Kenny, what about you? What about me? What about me? No, this when motherfucker's what, gonna be an, an air traffic controller. Yeah, until he yeah. Dies. What kind of skills are you building? Are you, are you trying to build up the skills through school right He's now? He's playing Doom, a rage. Dude, yeah, I'm playing games right now. I'm trying to build up yeah. those skills right now, dude. That's sick. Like, come on, no, but uh, yeah, I got uh, I got the air traffic control gig. Um, if if I wanted to do it, I could. Um, but you don't want to do it? No, I, I do. Uh, I mean, uh, it's 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 an option, but I'm I'm it's looking at other. It's a fallback. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I ultimately I can I see myself doing it again. But I'm I'm interested in pursuing other avenues too. Uh, look, perhaps um, some cryptocurrency avenues. Yeah, definitely. Like yeah. I, I'm trying to get rich quick off of that right yeah. now. Yeah, um, I'm trying to get a quick turnaround on, on retirement. <laughs> yeah, get that matic, you know. But if is absolutely. there anything else that you're passionate about besides uh, air traffic control? Uh, well, act- it's really funny because air traffic control has kind of made me passionate a bit about aviation. But really? um, yeah, like like getting a, a pilot's license. Uh, I, I want to do paramotoring. You know the GI Bill will pay for it, right? Well, yeah, but I want to do paramotoring. That is some dangerous shit. It's dangerous, but it, but it, it looks, looks like so cool. fun, man. It looks sick. Yeah, you get this fan just on your back, and you freaking propel yourself forward, and you start running, and you got a parachute that lifts you up. What? Yeah. yeah. Did you know that you I've ever seen it? No. Oh, dude, that's it's amazing. Some tight it's sick. cool. Yeah. It's really cool. Did you know that I've hang glidden before? Hang yeah. glidden? Hang you, glidden? you hang glid? Oh, that's pretty cool. And it was very fun, but yeah. very scary. It. D- I don't even know if I'd hang glide. I was harnessed to a dude, but yeah, I was oh, hang, yeah. Glide, hang, hang glide. I saw this uh, video on YouTube about uh, like it was this guy and the guy, the the pilot of the hang glider forgot to strap him in, and they took off, and this guy's just dangling and could only hang on like nope. with one hand, Fuck and that. it's two minutes long of them just trying to land this thing, oh like emergency land this thing, and this guy's just holding on with like two fingers, oh. like for his life, and you see the whole thing because they had. Like a, a what's it called? One of those GoPros on the back. Oh, it's no. crazy. No, fuck that. Dude, that guy's freaking strong. Yeah, fingers, he's like, I, 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 I thought I was gonna die. I didn't think I could hold on any longer. I would skydive yeah. though. Skydive. Yeah, I don't cool. know. Skydive. I don't know. Now that I'm You've older, gotta get that feel, you know. Yeah. I feel like I don't need it. I feel like yeah. Now that I'm older, I'm like, you know, I, I, I'd rather just be on the ground surviving. I'm already scared of being on the freeway in LA, dude. Like going 80 dude, miles tell an me hour. About it. Oh my god. Forget it. So 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 <laughs> I already feel like I could die. I don't need to add to that Jeez. with anything. Well, you know, hey, if you look at it like in the sky, paramotoring, you got air traffic control directing pretty much everything else. So it's it's a lot safer than driving. At that yeah, point, what about dude, power just power lines, those, dude, you can't yeah. have air traffic control dude, to tell you about power lines. You, you got to look around, you know, look out for those power lines, but you got to stay up, you know, just. But you're you're good, man. I think gyrocopter ac- accidents are worse. Yeah, but at least it would be tighter than a paraglider thing. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for being on our show. Should they don't tell you today? Uh, we'd like to do this thing called final thoughts at the end, where we just like have like one last final thought to wrap up the topic. So, Kenny. Yeah, uh, I say if you do, or if you're interested in joining the military and you kind of feel lost at what you're doing right now, I'd say the military is a very good avenue to pursue um, because you get school, uh, you get a, a job, you know, that you'll hopefully be good at and hopefully be happy with. Um, you could always choose the career in or the military. Or you could work too. in the cafeteria. Yeah, or you could do that too. Become a cook, <laughs> become a chef. But uh, you know, when you join and you, you and go that to the recruiter's at the office. Gym. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to the recruiter's office, um, you could choose jobs, like your top five jobs that you want. You don't have to go with the job that the recruiter picks. And you does mean you get them. And you top five to air traffic control, bro? Dude. I, I chose, uh, it was number one was geospatial because Nate was in geospatial. Number two was cybersecurity. Number three, air traffic control. I got air traffic control and I loved it. What's hilarious is my list was the exact opposite of that. My yeah. number one was air traffic. Number two was uh, actually the same, cybersecurity. And the number three was uh, intelligence. So, and what's amazing too is you Maybe guys they also- just pick three for people. I and know, And they just right? go like three, three for everyone. There you three. go, guys. Yeah, <laughs> Third choice that. pick. H- haven't you guys said too that um, you get to put your top locations you want to go and everyone puts Hawaii, but everyone gets laughed at basically? Basically. You, yeah, you I never, know tons yeah. of people who went to Hawaii though. Eventually? Not, not at first. No, I, a couple people went at first Whoa. and then a, a ton more went eventually. Wow. Like, yeah. They lived the Most dream. of them hated it. Oh, they yeah. hated Hawaii. Well, some of them hated it. 
apparently traffic on Hawaii is like worse than LA. No. Yeah, yeah. you know it is in Oahu. Because they bad. have like one they only have road. One street. Yeah, you know. And I've been yeah. there. And That's like true. Obama used to fly in all the time, and they're like, God damn it, traffic is going oh to be gosh. fucked. Man, that always used to piss he me off. He screwed yeah. West LA whenever I was in traffic going to the commercial audition and Obama was in town. I would just have to pee so bad in my car, and I, it would take like two hours to get home. Damn. It was the worst. <laughs> I rude today anytime that cat was in town. I was like, no. I was in traffic <laughs> for four hours once because of that. Oh, no. Because he was at the House of Blues, and I was oh, fucked. Man. I was at fucked. <laughs> Dude, that's what happens, man. It sucks. Uh, so, yeah, my final thought is um, proud of you both. Thank you for your service. That's what I was going to say. Uh, Nikki didn't say it. I, I, I hate it when first. people say that. Yeah, that dude, was actually, my final thought, real quick, though. That's another thing. So Thank you for your service. I hate Not I, something everyone likes to hear. No. no. Well, yeah. yeah. Not a universal. No, no, it, it feels awkward. Right. It's See, awkward. Okay. For Kenny, it's awkward. For me, it plays into the whole morality thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I don't like it for that reason. I you see. feel like a used whore? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> like to put it in Game service. of Thrones terms, yes. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. So the, the thank you for your service thing, it's like for me, I don't feel like I should be thanked necessarily. Yeah. Well, because you're a guilty man anyway. Exactly. You're a guilty Catholic boy. But it is also <laughs> just like I get why people say it. It's not I'm not I'm not shitting on people yeah. for saying it mm -hmm. because it is a nice sentiment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when you do when you do say it and you get an awkward response. It's because it's an awkward thing to say. Well, I, to yeah. you, I mean to say it to piss you off, and to Kenny, okay, I mean to say it because I mean it. Okay, good. <laughs> because yeah. how do you respond to that? <laughs> it's it's, it's like, like, hey, thanks for your service. Thanks for sitting like, in that chair all day. And, I was yeah. and sipping on monster right? drinks, dude. Thanks for sitting in an ergonomic <laughs> chair all day. Yeah, I'm like, thanks for sitting in the fucking me. AC. Yeah. Like, there are guys who went on deployments. I didn't go on any deployments. Like, no. I, I don't feel like I deserve that. No, Kenny, you know? thank you for slamming sugar free Red Bull yeah, uh, like, and, exactly. uh, and using the bidet. Dude, yeah. And like changing the options on the bidet. Thanks for slamming those pizzas down, man, while you're in work. Did tower. you say there's an ecstasy four in the tower? They had one in the break room. Yeah. That scares the shit out of me. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, Nikki? Oh, well, uh, I was. I just don't have that much to contribute because I've never had anything to do with uh, the military service. Um, thank you for, not your service, but thank you for the USAA membership. No. no. No, you made me feel it's bad. Just, it's Nate, just when you say, no. what are you supposed it. to say back? Now I can't say it. What are you supposed to say back? You say, thank you? you're welcome. Or exactly, <laughs> but you're welcome. Like yeah. now, I'm the asshole. Yeah, no, Nate, yeah. you know what you do? But you put on sunglasses, then say you're welcome. You know okay, what? Oh, that's nice. what I'll do. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's power move. Yeah. You know, but Nate, you have a really hard time taking compliments anyway. Like I sometimes I give Nate a compliment, he's like, "Really? You liked it? Because I thought it sucked. Like yeah, I thought I did I thought a really bad job." I'm like, trash, "Listen, bro. he's humble. You just no. No, I'm not humble. I just think <laughs> everything sucks. You need to take the compliment and be like." There's some oh, other people here who me. need to take compliments too. Mark. Mark? <laughs> we love Mark. He works on the show. Yeah. Mark can't do it either. Yeah. Nate and Mark are spirit are, 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 are animals. We, there's a reason we're behind there. <laughs> Um, well, uh, thank you for coming on again. Uh, the boss, if you want to find on t uh, Kenny the on the boss, on no the boss on the Twitter. boss on, on Twitch. Twitch B A W S S. Okay. Oh, and then you can also find me on Kenny Green. Uh, yeah, I'll have some content on there soon. Yeah, I've had terrible. Branding. I've had internet problems up uh, where I live. So no one wants to hear it. No he lives yeah. in the yeah. mountains. Yeah. How are you going to be a Twitch streamer? You don't have internet problems. We're working on the internet problems. Oh, okay. Yeah. What are you What are you going to get a hand crank out there? Kenny, aspiring Twitch streamer. Aspiring, yeah. Well, as he's soon as he gets this it. internet thing figured out, he's, yeah, he's going to join him. He's going to run an Ethernet cable for mom and dad's place hey. all yeah, the yeah. way up the Dude, mountain. I, I was exactly. streaming. I was streaming uh, all last week, and I looked at my stream because I was kind of watching myself, and it was lagging like every like ten or fifteen seconds. I was like, "Dude, no one's going to watch this freaking garbage." Man. <laughs> <laughs> what? And what a perfect Dude. ad for you. Yeah, oh, there yeah. we go. But you know, maybe Tune in a week in. or two, it's going to be. Crystal clear, yeah. crystal clear streams. He's it's working gonna be the on best it. Okay, stream. it's gonna be the best. Yeah, so by the, the time this episode comes out, it's probably great. And if it's not, go over there and tell him it sucks. Yeah, please. go tell him. Go tell him. Make sure that you go there and tell him that it tell sucks. Tell me I suck at games. Yeah. And, and tell Nate, Nate that he sucks because he just wants to hear that. That's, that's all true. he. That's, that's all he accepts. Yeah. You can so. find Nate on Nate Green Games. You can also find Nate on our channel. Yep. Sticky Studios. Sticky Show. He's a regular. Often. Yeah. YouTube.com slash Nate And everyone loves Nate already. Now you got to meet Kenny. All right, guys. Uh, also, if you're uh, if you're on our Patreon, um, some tiers get an extra bonus episode of the podcast. So go ahead and check that out. We're doing some cool stuff. We're doing live streams. We're actually our live stream does work because we have internet That's working. Cool. So check that out. Nice it's a uh, once a month. Nate's gonna be there. And uh, yeah, if you have a topic you want us to talk about, podcast at nikki limo. Other than that, we'll see you next. We'll time. see you next time. Thanks, Mike. You're see welcome ya. for our service. The, the yeah. and the Patreon's oh, called uh, the Patreon.com Patreon slash sticky. That's right. And the bonus show is shit they don't tell you after dark. It's after Ooh. dark. Bitch. Ooh, Bitch. After dark. Scary. See you guys next time. Thanks. Why didn't anyone tell me?